the order, internet. Oh, is oh, is it recording? This motherfucker, guys. We have early access to see. But Batman. you're probably gonna watch this video afterward, though. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to release it beforehand. Why? What do you mean, why? Is it gonna be a spoiler review or, spo or spoiler free? Um. Oh shit! I couldn't even go. <sighs> Doesn't the movie come out Thursday night? Comes out Thursday. Yeah. Are comes... you gonna edit it or am I gonna edit it? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to see. I guess they're gonna. I guess they're gonna have so much to talk about it. Unless you get some of that uh, wiki wiki juice. So. I do that tonight. <laughs> well, we'll get some wakey wakey juice. Oh, really? Anyway, do, do, do all of my homework this week, like tonight. <laughs> this guy. I, could, I would do that if you give me some wakey wakey juice. So, we're about to go see it. We got early access. Thanks to, uh, shout out to, to Nike. Thank you so much for the early access. Got a plus one, so I get to bring yeah. this motherfucker. Oh, uh, yeah, my hair grew. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> last time you guys saw me, you know what happened. Oh yeah, you kept you kept, kept rubbing my head. Yeah, you kept yeah. rubbing that head. Yes, <laughs> uh, you know, I originally gave the tickets. So I was gonna give the tickets to Eddie. Wow, <laughs> I know. Well, you guys had church school I was today, boy. Oh no, no. See, that's the thing. You were first choice. Really? Yeah. The problem was, yeah, church. It's Tuesday, so you got church school. The thing is, there was an extra request going on. It's just that. Oof. But I was like, if it's a substitute, I'm not going to take it seriously. Dude. Skipping over here. Well, guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. We are back, everyone. Ready to the intro in the car. I'm tired, bro. Should've oh had, my god. Should have had this coffee. Guy. I already had coffee today, Bitchin'. but like that wasn't enough. Bitching. What up, guys? So today, we, we actually just came back from watching the Spider Man Into the Multiverse movie. Spider Verse. Spider -verse. Same <laughs> thing. <laughs> Same difference. This already turned out marvelous. Anyway, guys, we actually got early access to go see a thing. Because Night Nikki. Nick, thanks to the thanks to the sneakers app, I, I was given uh, exclusive access, which I was able to bring a plus one. Your boy, was of course I had to go do Spider Man fan over here. Crazy Spider Man fan over here, so not we that had crazy. To, just, boy, she just knows a bit. <laughs> crazy Spider Man fan over here, so I invited him. End up skipping church for this. I know, dude. Oh, <laughs> anyway, guys, so I, I, I to be honest with you, I treat the the, the Spider Man universe. More as a Bible to me oh my than God. the actual Bible. S stop! Don't let, don't let water hear you. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so we're gonna. This is gonna be a two part, a two section review, if you will. We're gonna start spoiler free, and then we'll let you know when when to. If you don't want to spoil anything, when to cut it off and and talk all all kinds of spoilers. So is this spoiler free or spoiler? Well, spoiler free right now. So we okay. got the spoiler free. Oh, okay. Your opinion on the movie. Yeah, yeah. Your basic yeah. opinion on it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and. Without spoiling anything, we're gonna go ahead and start with you. What? What do I say? What do you think? What do you think of it? He's a movie dude. <laughs> <laughs> so there he goes. His was his review. So to me, this is like my favorite Spider-Man film, dude. So it is a really good Spider-Man film. Yeah. It's a really, 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 really good one. Uh, I don't know if it would have worked live action. Oh because, yeah, yeah. It would never ever really live action. Only no. because of what they do with it, but it, it is it is one of the better Spider-Man films to come out. In, in recent people are actually saying it's the best Spider Man film. I'm ever saying made. it's the best, dude. <laughs> really coming from a Toby boy? Yeah, dude. Wow. To Spider Man two second though. <laughs> oh, here we go. I would have figured you'd be like, no, nobody touches Toby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the cinematography is amazing. I, I will say though, I know I know it's kinda controversial. Some people don't like the way the because you know it's not it's not thirty frames, actually uh, it's slower than thirty frames. That's why it kind of skips a little bit. Ah, you can tell that yeah, from the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, I don't mind that so much. Because, I, didn't, I didn't mind it. No. Because the aesthetics makes it look more like a comic book. It's almost like you can pause it at any point in time, and it almost looks like a like a page of a comic book. That's why it has the feel, the look that it does. Pretty sure that's what they were going for. Again. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. So the, the, the one thing I will say is that, especially in the beginning of the movie, it does kind of have that weird like 3D effect. You know what I'm talking about? That has that has like the the blue coming out on one side and then the and the red coming out on the other oh, side. Like yeah. it bleeds through the characters a little bit. Yeah. So that kind of hurt my eyes in the beginning of the movie. 
they stopped it after the first half of the movie. So after that, I, I didn't notice it. That's yeah. why I didn't notice it after the first half. In the first half, I'm like, oh my eyes. So also depending on on which angle you're looking at, sometimes the the movie gets a little blurry. I don't know yeah. if you noticed that. No, like to be honest with you guys, I I think the reason why I didn't notice it is because I like making pictures where I make it blurry and, <laughs> and blue and red on one side on, on purpose. Well, it's you know what it reminds me of? It's your freaking wallpaper. Do you still have that with you writing a? Is it you writing a? Yeah, unicorn? yeah. I make I make that kind of. So here yeah. you go. Show we're gonna show the 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 people. I mean, I I uh back then this is back then I don't I don't do this oh. no more. But back then I used to Photoshop images and make them like this. We're gonna we're gonna have a picture of a poster right yeah. there. Yeah. So it it's at part at points of the movie you, it has that it has that look to it. Yeah, because it has like them going off the yes. actual thing. Yes. Yeah. So once you get used to it, it's not a big deal. Uh, I I like the animation style that they used. Also, if you notice, and we it, talked it's about this different before, on on different. Yeah, characters. each character has a different uh, animation style. So the first, so like the the girl Penny, I think her robot is like S P forward slash forward slash D R. So like, that's supposed to be like an, an, like the an anime, anime character. Yeah. So she's drawn, she's she's drawn like an anime character, and then she has that that robot. Uh, there's her. There's uh, well, Spy- yeah, like like her faces. Like there's moments where it shows her expression in like a manga form. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other the other big one that you can tell a lot, very 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 distinctly, is Spider Pig. Spider Ham. Sp- yeah. Spider Pig is Simpson. Oh my bad, Spider Ham. <laughs> he uh. He, he kind of has like a Looney Tunes kind of like floaty look to him, and I, I think his. To be honest, f- I phys- I, physics I, don't even don't even yeah. apply to him. <laughs> to be honest, I never saw him like stop. Like he his all his animations were always so fluent. It's very yeah, yeah. and it's very floaty and and very 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 reminiscent of of Looney Tunes, and then uh, Spider Man Noir, he's he's black and white. So yeah. his his style is just a black Batman, and white. Spider-Man. <laughs> Batman Spider Man. Batman Spider Man. Uh, Gwen Stacy is kind of hers is very similar. Yeah, same, it looks like yeah. her. Looks like the other three have the same have the it's same animation style. Just, just different characters. Right. So I I like that I like that touch to it. Um, there's a lot of little references in the movie too. Oh yeah, a Sp- lot of little references. Spider- hold on, hold on. Don't, we don't want to get into spoiler territory oh, yeah, yeah, just yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, but there's a lot of references in the movie. If you're a Spider-Man fan, if you watch the movies, if you watch the uh, I think even the even the old cartoons, old cartoons you're gonna yeah. find a lot of little references. That you're like, oh my god, I remember that as a, as a kid. Yeah, dude. So the people who made it, who, the people who made the movie, had that has have that very nostalgia, uh, feel to it. Like they they, you know, they wanted to they wanted to appease or please, you know, young fans and then older fans who've been who've been with the series, and you can tell that throughout the entire thing. If you read the comics, you know, you get a lot of a lot of good little references. If you've seen the movies. You get other different references, which we'll get into the when we get into the the spoiler, um, the spoiler <laughs> portion of it. Um, but yeah, I I, I enjoyed it a lot. It, it, how long was the, the movie? Was what like an hour and forty minutes or an hour and thirty minutes? No, I think it was an hour. It's like an hour and forty minutes, and it it, it felt longer, dude. <laughs> Not for me. Really? I've, no, I felt like it was only like a half an hour movie. Really? Yeah. For me, it felt long. <laughs> Why did it drag out too much? No, 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 I don't know. I just felt, I felt it felt longer than I expected it to. Well, the reason why I felt long is because we had to sit there for twenty minutes. I, that the, is true. That, yeah, with the screen. So it was enough time to share everything, though. Yeah. So the, um, other than that, I, you know, I would. Ooh. Yes. I know. <laughs> So other than that, uh, what else? What else did you? Or did you? Is there anything you didn't enjoy? Or is that spoiler territory? It's like sort of spoiler territory. We'll I'm get into gonna, the spoiler stuff uh, afterwards. So how many? Uh, how many slabs of ham out of five? Did you give it? Five. Dude. Five of. Yeah. Five spider hams out of out of five. Wow, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I would uh, I would give it. I'll give it a I'll give it a four point five, pretty close to a five. Chicken my head. Slabbed ham. <laughs> <laughs> but wow, point <laughs> five. <laughs> so I, I'll I'll exp- How so the dare reason you why not give it a five out of five. So, Your opinion is wrong. <laughs> oh, listen, the reason why I don't want to give it a perfect five is only because of this. So the movie did drag on a little bit, even though for me. Even though for me, I, it didn't feel like an hour and forty minutes. 
furiously like it lasted freaking forever. <laughs> There's parts of the story that just seem to drag on a little bit. There isn't a lot of action, really. There's oh, a, yeah. There's, there's very, it's more based off characters. Yeah, it's just, there's a lot of character <laughs> development, but there's very little action in between. Uh, you get it just enough, but not enough where you want to... It leaves you wanting more. Yeah. And then the the other thing, too, is just the... Uh, well, the thing that bugged me the most, which I'll explain, because I don't know if that's part of the... I don't know if they showed in any of the trailers, so I, I guess I'll... I guess I'll uh, I'll talk about it in the on the spoiler part of it, but any other, any other, thing, anything else you want to say? Nah, dude. Let's get to the spoiler part. Dude. Fine, let's get to <laughs> so it. I'm gonna start. Spo- da, 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 da. <laughs> spoiler, the spoiler section. You gotta drop the, the spoiler. Uh, do I? Yeah. I don't you know do. if I'm gonna be able to edit this video. Well, we'll see. Anyway, um, spoiler part. What did you not like? The villains. Which? What about the villains? Like Kingpin. Like, I understood why he was mad, but it didn't, like, build too much on it, though. So, here's like, the thing. Go ahead. Because no, at first, he was finding Spider-Man before he wanted to kill him even more after the the parent, the, his, his, uh, his girl and his son noticed. So, hold on. Let me, let me, let me explain that part. So, the whole purpose of this, the whole purpose of the movie, which I guess now we can get into the, into what goes on, is that Kingpin activated the, this, this, like, portal thing yeah to, to be able to bring which is funny because oh, hold on she i'll still, get into this still exists he brings him. in he, <laughs> he has this portal to bring other other things from other dimensions into into this dimension and the reason why he wants to do that is because he wants to bring his wife and his son back now his wife and his son ended up hating him because he's he was like he, punching he, he was beating up spider-man so they viewed him as like a bad person yeah so they left them and then that's his whole that's his whole thing now i so I get what they were trying to do with it, yeah, yeah. and it's noble. I understand it. It's yeah. they try to make Kingpin as a bit of a of a tragic hero or a tragic yeah. villain, where you know he's doing it for his family as opposed to getting wealthy, or you know they try to give him a little bit of that of of more you know more dimensions than just oh he's just the bad guy who wants to take over the story. Yeah, the, the yeah, yeah. No, not that. So I'm, I'm just evil just to be evil. So I'll give him, <laughs> I'll give him, yeah, and I'll give him that. I'll give him that at least. At least they, uh, at least they wanted to give him a, a a decent backstory. The only problem is they left him because he was beating up Spider Man. Yeah. He and doesn't, why, is, does he, he, why was he beating him beforehand? Well, because he's he's always been a bad guy. He's, he's, the, yeah. he's the kingpin. So he's he's always been the villain. Although, why would you throw it in front of yeah. your family? That's one thing. The like other thing he has too, a motive against Spider Man after having a motive beforehand. So the other the <laughs> other thing so that I, that that just kind of uncle. No 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 uh. no no. It's still kingpin. Is the fact that if that was the case, they just left. They just they left yeah. them. Why don't they? Why don't he just try to fix the marriage? Right. Right. Well, so they were coming from a different dimension. You don't know how different they're gonna be. Yeah. So his plan could have been foiled yeah. right then and there. So that's only that's only the that's only the the thing that's kind of me. So I'll tell you the thing that I hated. The one thing that I couldn't stand and it is and it stood out so much was no matter design? what yes it was his design. <laughs> he looks like he looks like a he ball. looked like the boss baby <laughs> if he he, looked... they, they took his head and put him on the full body so, so have you ever seen have you ever seen uh have you ever seen slither you never it's seen awesome, that with awesome really... people who know what slither is i'll put a picture right here is that freaking she looks like the uh looks like the slot the, the 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 um the people the girl who has the the slugs in her She's freaking huge. She looks just like a round ball with a with a head on it. So that looked really bad, to be honest. That's the only nitpick I have for the movie. There's anything that's bad other than the the, the storyline, but other than like that was enough for me to be like, come on, man, you could have done the animation a little bit better. But I, it's not enough for me not to enjoy it. Other again, those are the only the pop, thing. The, oh, go ahead. Those are the only things that I have bad to say about the movie. I have a lot of great things to say about it. Um, I love the. I love the way that they handled uh, every single character. So I guess since we're in spoiler review, the the Spider Man, the Peter Parker that helps that's in the movie is actually from another dimension. But uh, and go ahead. so so at the when I was first watching the movie and Spider Man from Miles dimension got killed. At oh yeah, first, he dies. Like he got killed right by Kingpin. At first, I thought that 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 they were gonna make a storyline where that was Ben Riley. I'm pretty sure that's what his name is. Where in the comics, if you read the comics, Spider-Man gets cloned by or Norman Osborn, who was there, but then he dies at the beginning of the film. Um, who? Norman Osborn. Um, 
I'm sure yeah. that was a reference to Banner. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was. Cause yeah, because the, the had... thing about Banner is that they, one of the Peters was like, screw it, I'm going different, to dif- differentiate from you. So he decides to change his name to Ben Riley and dye his hair uh, yellow, uh, uh, blonde. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> the, I, I really, really like the way that they handled the spider, the, the Peter Parker from the other dimension because his name yeah. is, is Peter M. Peter, Peter B. B. Parker. Pretty sure that's Benjamin, right? After his uncle. I'm not sure, but this Peter, uh, he's, you know, he was, he was Spider-Man, but this is Spider-Man in the later years. You you want me, homie? He, he, um, he, he let himself go. He was too, he was too busy worrying about being Spider-Man that he neglected, uh, uh, Mary Jane, uh, Mary Jane, you know, wanted to start a family. Peter was so, was so, he wanted to continue the, the Spider-Man thing that she actually, they actually got a divorce. But he lost, he lost her. He lost the world pretty much to live. So he kind of get a little, he gets a little bit of the gut. Yeah, I was working now. <laughs> he's eating pizza. <laughs> so you know, he he's a little bit of a tragic hero, and I like that. I like the fact that they show like not every hero, at, yeah. you know, finishes with a happy story. Yeah, they have sacrifices. Them. In this, in this, in this, you know, in this story, he they even mentioned it too. Like we all had something to lose. What do you mean? No, uh, no, no. Yeah. I mean. He's the only one who had a tragic story. That is true. He was the only one that was like, yo, yeah. guys, everything I was lost. <laughs> you guys only just lost one thing. And you're <laughs> so, so okay. So he saw something in, in, in Miles which kind of helped him help him uh, regain his, 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 his fighting spirit back, if you will. Um, the, the other thing, too, that they... The other really cool thing that they showed was the fact that... Uh, I like how this was an origin story for Miles, yet it had a lot of parallels to the to Peter Parker's yeah. story. Um, he he got bitten by a radioactive spider. He uh, he had a tragic loss in his family, which we'll get into that. It wasn't Ben, but he had a tragic life in in, in his family too. The really nice touches is that the fact that uh, he's reading the the. The Spider-Man comics, comic, yeah, and he's learning just he's like, like how, oh man, I'm... <laughs> this is my origin. Yeah, he's learning. He's learning just like like Peter, like Peter Parker did. So he's kind of becoming a mentor, uh, to become to become the next Spider-Man, if you will. Uh, the the way that they handle the his his tragic loss. So one of the things that's revealed in this is that everybody in the everybody in that universe lost somebody yeah. they all lost their uncle ben if you will um who did uh who did who did who did the pig lose pig do you remember did they even say it we sure they did uh <laughs> like i remember he even said it we all had something the worst part about his job is that you can't save everyone he even yeah, says it so i'm pretty who, sure he had something said it. Yeah, he I, I don't remember who he said but um spider-man noir he lost his uncle Benjamin. Ben. <laughs> uh, the the anime girl Penny. Penny. Lost she lost her, her father, dad. who then uh, basically left the spider and the robot, which was his originally for her to use. Yeah, uh, that's some backstory. Uh, Gwen lost, lost Peter. Lost Peter, which is kind of ironic, really, if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, and then Peter's back <laughs> from that dimension. <laughs> yeah. Then Peter. Peter lost his uncle Ben. That that that, that doesn't change. His wife. Not, not, he didn't die, but like... Huh? It, it, no, no, no. He still lost his yeah. Uncle Ben. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. all have their own Ben yeah. losing. He lost Ben. And then Miles Morales, which is rather interesting, and I like the way they handled it, to be honest, was his uncle. Yeah. Uh, what, what was his name? Uh, Aaron Davis. Aaron Davis. Who, which, who I knew was going to be a bad guy, dude. Who like, turns out to, that turns to be into the prowler. So what happens If you read is, the comics, you knew that. <laughs> it wasn't no surprise for me. So what happens Him is... right here. Oh, my God. It was, sho- <laughs> it was a shocker to me. I didn't know. So what happens is that, yeah, he uh, he was a prowler and and uh, and Kingpin told him to kill, you know, the, 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 spider, the spider people. So he has him in the rooftop and he's ready to kill him. And he shows it like, it's me, uncle. <laughs> I like the fact that he had a struggle in his mind. Yeah, like you can tell the pain in his mind, like, oh, damn, what do I do now? <laughs> you know, I'm part of this evil organization, but this is my, this is my nephew. I can't, I can't hurt him. So he hesitates and Kingpin shoots him in the back. 
And it's... about one shot, shake him out. <laughs> so Vans, and... you should take three, dude. <laughs> so you know that kind of inspires him a little bit. I like the fact that that. Everybody. The original Spider-Man as well kind of influenced. It didn't make like too big, big of an influence, but the the Spider-Man from his universe, how he made a promise. Well, yeah, yeah, he made a promise to the original Spider-Man. It wasn't that big to his uncle, but like he's still like, oh, I have to do this now. Well, his uncle, his uncle dying is what caused. Is what him really, to... what really made him go sicko mode. Which is what, <laughs> which is what Uncle Ben did for, yeah, for Spider Man, yeah. really, if you think about it. Because, like, OG Peter Parker was selfish. He wanted to use his powers for money. That's why he did the wrestling thing. But then after he saw his uncle, he's like, if I would have used my powers for good, this would have never have happened. And then <laughs> so he's like, it's time to become Spider Man. So, uh, so yeah, he gets inspired and, and he has to go through the, through, through the training. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of really cool references. They had a uh, Spider Man PlayStation 4 suit. There's a Spider-Man PlayStation 4 suit. So I like the fact... So I like the fact that... Toby's... Uh, Tony Maguire Spider-Man had lots of references in this movie too. Well, hold on. We'll get to that. Okay. So one of the cool things is that they make fun... So they they make fun of themselves. <laughs> you know, I I love the little jabs that they that they do, that they take. And, and they almost seem self-aware. So I love the fact that he... That, uh, the, the, you know, this Peter Parker that came from the other one has been in the game for so long that he kind of knows... Kind of what the lines of the characters would be. Remember when they were in the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 24 hours. And then King Prince says it. He's 24 like, this, hours. Yeah, he's like, this one he says you have 24 hours. And then King Prince says you have 24 hours. So he's been in the game for so long that he kind of... that he know, It's almost like he's self-aware that he's in a that he's in a comic book. So he knows and he tells them, like, this is this is the way that, this is the way that this functions. You know, we, we, we come Pig in. Spider-Pig knows that he's in a cartoon. Like, what's wrong with cartoons, dude? He even says it's the... So uh, yeah, to who was it? That great guy. That was not, uh, that I, was Scorpion. No, no, no. Oh yeah, it was Scorpion. Yeah, who was the other guy? The great guy. Which one? The guy who was pale skin. Uh, he's one of the top guys. I don't remember who. who... If I were to guess, probably Tombstone. But Tombstone's bit. I don't know if that's exactly Tombstone because in the comics he sometimes has normal skin. Well, the spectacular Spider-Man, I'm pretty sure, was the only version of him where he where he looked like a human. <laughs> No, he's a character, you know, I don't remember who he is, but he, I've seen him a bunch of times before. Um, but yeah, they have they have a couple of different villains. Uh, how did you how did you change the subject? I don't know. This guy. Anyway, um, everyone's self aware. Dude. That's, that's that's that was the subject. You're and it wasn't no. It's the only one who's well. Obviously, the pig is self aware, <laughs> but I'm talking about just in general. Spider Man's been in the game for so long that he no, kind of knows the. The way that, that it flows. Yeah, the way the enemies flow. Hey, what did you say your name was again? Octavius. And he's like, oof. <laughs> so, the, the the great thing about this universe is the fact that since it is an alternative universe, it does allow for some interesting, uh, some interesting changes. Yeah. So the, one of the one of the one of the big changes is is um. Doctor Octavius is a female. It's a female. Which those tentacles, if you look, they're not made out of metal. It almost seems like they're like recyclable <laughs> plastic, <laughs> which is pretty cool if you if you really think about it. And then Scorpion is like a Hispanic guy who doesn't even speak oh, yeah. English. You actually have to put a little translator for him to uh, for him there. Alacran. <laughs> Uh, so I really like those. I like the fact that they're able to to, to manipulate the timelines like that and, and be able to give us a different take on on some on some of the characters. Kane Bain still stay like a fucking fat ass. So I don't yeah. know why he, I don't know why they didn't uh, they didn't fix him a little bit. But um, all the things look beautiful except King. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Prowler was my favorite design to be honest. They, you know, I thought the I thought the main villain was gonna, gonna be, be Prowler. No, I thought uh, the main villain was gonna be. Uh, uh, the Green Goblin. Oh yeah, because uh, psh, the dude, Green Goblin was there. He for, only had like two lines. <laughs> yeah, and he was only, <laughs> only there for less than five minutes. I'm I'm a big fan of his design. Cause yeah. He actually oh yeah, like he a, actually looked like the Goblin from the comics. Yeah, he actually is was like an actual. It wasn't. Goblin. It wasn't Sam Raimi's Goblin, where it's like he has a suit <laughs> and it's a crazy guy inside. Yeah. <laughs> so. Or it wasn't. It wasn't from. Or it wasn't that he he kind of t- turns green and goes all crazy. Yeah. It it was him turning all huge and stuff. So the whole purpose is they have to they have to stop Kingpin from from reactivating the the reactor again by by having they have like a little device that's a fail switch that allows them to turn it off. Um, 
and then we got to, so that's basically it gets to the end of the movie where they all get there, but somebody has to stay behind. Obviously, Miles has to stay behind because he's from that universe. Yeah, because like the thing is, if you're not from that universe, you can't live because you're not supposed to be there. So you start like glitching away, and you're, yeah. you eventually just something great. Yeah, so I don't so, feel so good. <laughs> yeah, so they start. So they have. So they have a time limit, and they have to get this, get this done and over with. So the only reason why they don't want Miles original door is because he's such a newbie. You know, they they think he's like not he able to do he, it. He can't handle with the big boys. But it's only all you gotta do is just like push to button. That's all he did. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's a really cool. All, thing he has to, all that all you had to like make sure that he learns is is dodging, and that basically through that just tell him how to use the spider senses better. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. So at the end, that was really cool. That was a really cool scene at the end because he activate he activates the obviously he activates the. The uh the the portal whatever and then it starts it starts bringing all the other universes into this one, and then so what ends up happening is you can start seeing the universes coming together, and then as more time progresses and as the fight continues on, those those buildings and and that material that's coming through it's almost becoming like molecular, molecular, you know there's little it, it's almost like disintegrating in front of them is becoming increasingly unstable. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoy the those the, those visuals, you know. Obviously, at the end, um, obviously at the end, you know the the good guys win. I like I like the interaction that they have at the end with Peter Parker and Miles, where he's yeah. like, "No, I gotta stay." He's like, "No, I got this. You, know, you gotta go back to your universe." And they have a nice conversation between the two, letting him know, like, you know, you need to live your life. It's not it's not too, it's not too late. So throughout the entire movie. Peter Parker was a mentor for for Miles, but at the, that very scene, it's like Miles is 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 giving that hope back to Peter. Like yeah, yeah. He tells him like it's not too late to fix it, and after the movie, you can see like uh, he goes to Mary Jane's door, right? Yeah. So yeah, he goes. That's to Mary what King Pin should have done in the first place. I know. <laughs> Take a lesson from Peter Parker. <laughs> anyway, uh, other than that, I, you know, there was a, there was a lot of other great. There's so many things we can talk about. We'll finish it off with with some of the references that were really cool in the movie. Oh, um, they they referenced the uh, Tom McGuire Spider. I knew he was gonna go like, like, like the train scene. You can see in the trailer, but this one they revealed the uh, the Peter Parker emo dance from the oh, third yeah. movie. <laughs> so what's interesting that means that that Spider Man. Well, actually, that's the one who died. That's, that's the one who died. Yeah, so that's the one who died. Is actually the is based off the Peter. Plus, Tommy McGuire's Peter Parker. But but they, for all you fans out there that think that these references means it's the same character, it's not because he has blonde hair. So he could have died it. That it, well, that is true. Yeah, <laughs> he could have died <laughs> it. But there's a nice reference that they brought those in. Uh, I, you know, at the end of the no 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 he could not died it. At, at the beginning of the movie, he actually had blonde hair when he was younger. Remember. There oh. was a little. It was like for a two second click when he was talking about his origin story when he was when he was a little kid. It showed him for like two seconds when he was a kid and he had blonde hair. So he couldn't have been Tom uh, McGuire. Yeah. Got him. I guess it was, just, him. A, I guess it was just a reference. <laughs> just references. Also, why was Mary Jane hanging upside down? No, it was... No, no. In that in that universe where Miles Morales, Mary Jane was hanging upside down when he was talking about his origin story. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure she was. And then when, when the other Peter started talking about it, she... He was upside down like it was normally. In the... Oh, maybe it was just the way to. Yeah, it was it just a joke. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, those were that. Those those were that. Those were those references that they had. There was a bunch of other ones. A lot of a lot of other little ones. That credit scene was amazing. And then there was the end credit scene at the end. It was a nice little jab because the entire time. So at the end, so at the very end, the end credit scenes. There's a bunch of little like Easter eggs and nods. Uh, oh yeah, there was of... one where there was a bunch of pictures of Spider-Man on the wall, which yeah. was a reference to the old cartoon. Yes. Yeah. And then there was a point. There was a point where the where it was zooming in, and then there was the spider webs. It's very similar to how the movie was, the the Sam Raimi one. Oh yeah, with the intro. Yeah. It was like the. Yeah. <laughs> there was that uh, at the end. So then at the end, they were just showing a bunch of different pictures from different things. And at one point, they had the spider pig cooking Spider-Man. Oh no! Before that, it was they were cooking spider, uh, spider ham. Were they? And then after that, because that you were talking to the guy behind you, and okay. after that, after that, they replaced all the Spider Man with Spider Ham ki- cooking Spider Man. Oh wow! So then at the very very end, they they show the the stinger, which is a nice little Easter egg, I guess, in itself. Yeah. Uh, it was twenty ninety nine. I forgot his name. It's he's some bean. Is he? Yeah. I thought he was white. 
No. I feel like down here and everything. No, he said it in Spanish. She was, what? Talking, she, she was talking. They were talking. It even said it in, in Sp- There was a thing in Spanish. Yeah. Do not know what comic I read. <laughs> <laughs> he has blonde hair and everything. He was Hispanic, and and they even said it. That was they even talking in Spanish. But I think uh, his name is some. His name is like super Hispanic. So I forgot what it was. Uh, but you know he they said oh where do you wanna he has a he has a little teleporter device because he can travel back in time and or he was like, he's anyway. like he's like you know what time to give us a go and then it does that the, the the pointing of the Spider Man <laughs> yeah the Spider Man meme where they're pointing at each other which was amazing I was wondering when they were gonna show that because they because when they were showing all these different versions I'm like where's the Spider I'm like they didn't show the Spider Man pointing at each other I figured they would have done some sort and of reference <laughs> and then they did it at the very end which was a pretty cool the way that they ended it uh, but anyway um I want to think. Sony, actually, it was it was Nike it was Nike that that gave us that yeah, exclusive yeah. access. Look, guys, we even have we still have the uh, yeah we still have oh, the so show them the, the cup, dude. Yeah, so we all we also got we also got free popcorn, we got free popcorn and drinks that, that says sneakers and it has the Jumpman on it. Uh, we got a we got drinks that says sneakers as well. This is a really nice cup. It's, it's, yeah, dude, I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's like a nice collectible. Uh, the other cool thing that happened was I don't know if you guys noticed, but the um. But Miles was wearing the uh, the Jordan ones. They're actually the Chicago colorway. Uh, they did a collab with with Nike um, for the for the shoes, and they're calling them the um, I think Bring Them Home or something like that. Uh. It's like it's a collaboration. It's basically a Jordan Chicago, but it, it's a little different than the one he wears in the. It's a little different than the one he wears in the in the movie. Because this one is actually has a little more references to it. The cool thing about it was because we were able to go, they gave me exclusive access halfway through the movie. I'm over here trying to buy the the, the shoes, <sighs> but everybody's enjoying the movie. Um, oh, actually, that's the reference that I was gonna make. It's for the water guy. And you just crunched it all up. I know. Um, <laughs> the other reference that they had was the the shoes. So. Obviously, for the majority of the, sh- the movie, he's wearing these Jordans yeah. on there, and they do reference the shoes. So the reason yeah. why they mention so there's so one of the things that they keep mentioning to him is, "Hey, your shoes he's are on tight. tight." He's like, "It's a fashion show." But you know why <laughs> that is, right? No, because mo- the way the way, the way people I, I don't have my Jordans on me to show you, but the way uh, the way a lot of people wear their Jordans is that they're very loose, they're very loose, and then the 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 um the laces just hang uh. from the sides. So you don't actually tie them. They just have them hanging on there. But he has them like super long. <laughs> well, he had them long, but he didn't have them. But I'm just saying, that's not yeah, reference yeah, to how yeah, people yeah. wear their, their, their Jordan 1s. That's what they're telling them. Hey, your shoes are on tie, but it's a joke. Because that's how people wear their, their Jordans. So, and at one point, he actually trips over the <laughs> trips <laughs> over the shoe. But I was able to get access, and I was able to get my shoe. Uh, We'll do a review on it once it comes in. It should come in within the next couple of days. But, you know... Thank you, Jordan Brand. Thank you, Sneakers. For allowing us to go see the movie early. We had a great time. All free, dude. All free. Anyway, final statements? This shit feels fucking free. <laughs> End the shit. Longer than the movie. <laughs> According to you. You can't live because you're not supposed to be there. So you start like glitching away and you, yeah. you eventually it's something great. Yeah, so I don't so, feel so good. <laughs> yeah. So they start so they